Okay. Ready. Ready, ready. Ready, ready. Okay. Yeah, it should be all right. Sounds all right. Uh, now we gotta just get in position, right? And one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Are you live? Yep. I think I, I pushed the uh, streaming button, so oh. it should be should be fine. <laughs> yeah, that should be okay. Okay. So say hi. And I hear. I think I hear Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Yep. Hi. <laughs> Good. Okay. Ready to go. So, hello everybody. We're live again. The English feed. All English all the time here at. United Language Center. Yeah. So, Hi, everybody. Yeah. Oh, there you go. We're uh, Mark. Yeah. We we're once still again live on Instagram, as you yeah. can see here. Yeah. We're once again experimenting. You can't see there for some reason. What happened? I think. Yeah. I'll just make sure. Oh, there it is. Wow. Well, what a delay. All right. Reload. Seeing if we're actually live or not. I think we are. We are. We are. Hi. We are. Wang Hongxia. Oh, good. On Instagram. Oh, you're there. Yeah. Looking at my computer, which is there, but there. All right. So. I see. You know, it's the streaming from the app should be fine. Yeah, and it says, it says we're live. There's my yes. I'm wearing the same shirt in the video. Okay. So good. Uh, you know what my plan was yeah. what, to what, go live? What, what, what? Was to like just go live and like start teaching right away. Boom. So we don't have this. Uh, so we don't have this. We don't have this, we live? this preamble. <laughs> preamble. <laughs> Preamble's a good word. Um, okay. Well, now we're going to actually start teaching. Um, yes, we are. Um, we'll actually start it up. See, we're, okay. wearing, we're wearing different shirts today. So. We are. Mm -hmm. That was... Luckily coordinated. And, and yeah, coordinated. So I'm just oh, opening. Oh, we gotta maybe we gotta get closer together for. Oh no, yeah, I'm just opening Facebook so I can. No, I'm just uh, looking at the all of our different stuff. So I'm just opening Facebook so I can comment on. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Just in case people say hi. Yeah, people say hello. We can comment back. Uh, so I posted on the topic today that we were just talking about uh, how to. Um, Speak naturally whenever you're making friends or you're meeting people for the first time. Yes. Right? Whenever we have a barbecue for um, our school on Saturday. We do. And whenever you go to a barbecue, you might meet people who you've never seen before. And I know that's always a bit awkward whenever you're meeting people for the first time. So, uh, Matt, whenever you go to a party, how do you introduce yourself or how do you meet new people? Oh, what, like what do I talk? Yeah, about? What, what like what do you do? Like you you walk into a room and and you've never seen any of the people before. Uh, yeah. well, the first thing I do is drink like two or three beers. Okay. Build up my confidence. Yeah, social lubrication or is it what do you call it? No, social inebriation. Ine no, you no. Know, I think lubrication. It is social lubricant. Yeah, yeah. that's what we call social it. Social lubrication. Yeah, that's another phrase. Um, um no, yeah. yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, we digress as usual. Yeah. Um, so I think what Mark was talking about mm -hmm. is, yeah, on Saturday we are having a school barbecue mm -hmm. at East Coast Park. Yeah. Um, I think we have like 40 or 50 people registered for that already. Oh, okay. So, so. it's going to be a good little party. Nice. So if you're watching this and you didn't receive the email or get blasted by your teacher mm -hmm. or see the Facebook event. Yeah, um, you can come to... Well, it's right there. If you just move your head. Oh, barbecue. There is a... Oh, it's actually right next to it. Yeah, I'm just blocking. Barbecue party. Barbecue party. May... Barbecue. 26th, this Saturday at 5 p.m. Right. East Coast Park. Mm -hmm. Area G, oh. number 61. Area G. Uh, we'll all post that. Yeah, we'll post it but not below, right? In the comments. Yeah. But, yeah, that should be fun. Yeah. So, yeah. basically, I think the most difficult thing sometimes about, yeah, going to a party or mm -hmm. going to a barbecue place is, uh, 
meeting new people and having to talk to people that are not in your class or are not your teacher. Mm. And what I notice, definitely what I notice when I first go to, mm -hmm. you know, if this is the barbecue, okay, that's my nice little barbecue there. I notice that there's like a little congregation of Japanese people, <laughs> and then a little congregation of Korean people, right? Yeah. And then a little congregation of Chinese people. Yeah. Okay. This is the teachers are usually here working, okay, cooking or whatever. And then slowly as the party goes on, these groups start to come together. And I'm assuming the lubricant, the alcohol, yeah. Yeah. Um, is one of those effects. Um, I, Debbie. Yeah. Uh, I assume that the alcohol is one of those things, but I think it's just after a while, you start to get a little bit more comfortable meeting yeah. people, talking to people. And I think today we're just going to talk um, about some, some tips on yeah. what to say or what not to say or, or something like yeah. that. And I'm sure in your own cultures, you have your own ways of breaking the ice, yeah. right? So breaking the ice is a phrase we I've taught some of our intermediate students where uh, it's that idea of there's this wall between us when we meet someone new and we have to break, break through or break the ice so that we connect with this person. Break the ice. Right? Break the ice. So if you're, if you're in, the, if you're in team, the Chinese team and you want to meet someone from the Korean team, Right? Maybe someone you've never met before. Right? You have to find a way to start talking to them. Right? Maybe you don't know who they are. You don't know their name. You don't know anything they like or don't like. So you have no topics, right? So how can we how can we uh, start talking to someone we've never been in contact with before? Right? An easy way is to make some simple comment, right? Like night it's a ni nice day today. Isn't nice it? day today. Or nice weather, isn't it? Or uh, do you know the time, right? There's there's these questions or these these uh, statements we can uh, use to at least start that conversation. To right? make, yeah, make small talk. Right? Small talk. So in English, small talk is very important. It do, we don't get much information from small talk. Even no. like if I ask you the time, if I if I ask someone to do the time uh, the time, I don't really care that much about the time. I'm using that phrase to start to interact with that person, right? right? Or like the weather, right? Obviously the weather's like, today is, is very sunny in Singapore. Obviously the weather is nice or, or, or sunny. Or if I say hot today, isn't it? Right? Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> yeah, people, people will say hot, like, it, it's hot today, isn't it? In Singapore, every day is hot. But we'll say that to someone new mm -hmm. to start that, start that connection. Right? Right. To introduce yourself. And then after that, right, you can say your name. You, then pe uh, hopefully they will ask you a question or you can ask them a question and then boom, we have a, a conversation. Exactly. Right. So you mentioned a few yeah. topics oh, that, you, yeah. that you could bring up for small yeah. talk. So we can, yeah, we can break those down a little more. What uh, you mentioned weather. Now this is common yeah. in like the US or in a, Yeah, this uh, US and Canada, like I don't know about other countries, but, but um, Singapore, it's kind of always the same. Yeah. So yeah, it's because in America, the weather changes all the time. Other countries, the weather changes. Um, but, but we yeah. like to talk about the weather. So that's yeah. That's so fine. weather, time, uh, ta time, like yeah. Hi, what time is it? Yeah. Or what? Okay. I, all right. Well, yeah. I'd say I would just be like, uh, do you know? Do you, uh, could, uh, or if you don't have a watch, maybe if you have a watch, you just look really dumb. Or an iPhone. <laughs> or an iPhone. Hey, Mark, what time is yeah. it? Yeah. That's weird. Or you just, or yeah, or you just say like, what time is it? And are able to break, break through with that. Also, just do something that's right happening now. All right. If you're at the barbecue, you could comment about the food, or comment about what you're drinking. Comment about something that's happening nearby. Right. Just like when you're when you come to class. Right? If you come to language class for the first time, yep. you can comment about, like, this chapter is very difficult, or um, what's this word, right? Ask simple questions based on what you're doing at the moment. I mean, that's why, I guess for me, it's easier for me to make friends when I'm doing a sport or doing an activity. Right. Because you can have, the, you have those moments to interact, those moments to talk um, because of the activity. 
So yeah, you have a common common interest, yeah. common yeah, yeah common com thing. Yeah. Common situation, common interest, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you're going to a language school barbecue, mm. okay, like ours, um, yeah. you know, of course you can ask like who's your teacher? Yeah. Or yeah. how long have you been living in Singapore? Oh yeah, that's right. perfect too, right? Um, you, things that you know you both, the, uh, shared experiences, things you both have done or both uh, are doing, right? You both go to school mm -hmm. here or you're both studying English. Um, but most of you have families, right? A lot of our students have families or children, right? You can always talk about family. You can always talk about your kids, right? Kids. Talk about your, if you're on good, ter good terms, talk, to, talk about your spouse. Uh, yeah, just got to be careful, right? Maybe. Um, I know my wife doesn't want to talk about me. Yeah. So. Yeah. Or you can, I, I, if you, once you talk with someone for a while, you start to understand what they're interested in, what they like, what they don't like. Um, and you can build from there. I guess yeah. another thing, maybe pets are a common topic in a lot pets. of countries. Pets. Um, hobbies. Oh, yeah, hobbies. Easy. Right? Hobbies, what you do, or or last, uh, we have work, right? Work, job. Again, what yeah, do you job. Do? Yeah, that's always that's always okay to ask. No one's going to be hurt <laughs> by that question. Yes. Right. Ah, however, yeah. uh, this is one thing that's slightly culturally different. In, oh yeah, in Asia versus yeah. Is in English we would ask, "What do you do?" Mm. Right. Not what is your job. Okay. Actually, the correct way to ask, "What do you do?" is what do you do not what is your job okay because yeah. if i ask mark what do you do yeah and he doesn't have a job maybe yeah. he'll cry oh i'll be very very sad I'm jobless. <laughs> of course he has a job he's working right now but if i talk to somebody who maybe doesn't have a job or maybe they're a student mm. what is your job like shigoto wa or yeah. something like that yeah a little bit different in yeah. Say Japanese or, or Chinese or Korea. Yeah, we keep it more vague. Like, what do you do? It's more your occupation, In right? General. Occupation, like what you, what you, yeah, like what do you do? I'm a teacher. I'm. I'm a housewife. I'm a housewife, right? It doesn't have to be like a, a job. Job. I'm an astronaut. <laughs> yeah, I'm an astronaut. I'm a painter. I'm a writer. I'm right. All of those things are things you do. Actions you take. Yeah. Frequently. <laughs> And you can always lie. Yeah. yeah. I'm a doctor. It's okay. That's fine. Nobody yeah. will care. <laughs> no, yeah, no, especially the barbecue. No one knows. People make it. No one knows. Um, um, I know in Canada, definitely, you know, main main topic of uh, of small talk would be sports. Oh, right. Yeah. Like America football. Right. Basically. If you talk to, if you meet an American, you can usually bring up football or basketball. They'll probably have a favorite team. Um, yeah. In fact, if you don't have a favorite team in America, that, that might be a little bit strange. They might walk away. They might, they walk, might away. walk away. They might walk away. They might walk away. Another one I just thought of, especially Singapore, people often talk about travel. Mm. Travel. Because Singapore is a very small country. We, there's not too much to do in Singapore. So for many people, they enjoy traveling to countries nearby. And that's another great way you can start learning or seeing if you have any similar travel plans or if you've been to similar places. Mm -hmm. Give recommendations, right? It's a, another great way to start the ball rolling. Start, start the ball rolling. Or get the ball, you say, do you say start the ball rolling, get the ball rolling? Right. Yeah. Uh, same. Same idea, same right? Idea. English. Uh, hey, even <laughs> two native speakers uh, worry yeah. about what to say. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, other than that, um, yeah, I don't know what else I would talk about. What, what do you What do you talk about? Oh, you know what I'll always ask if I if I meet, um, if I meet a husband and wife, for example, maybe maybe a lot of our students are housewives, as you know. Mm, yeah. Um, maybe and then at the barbecues or at these parties that we tend to have, usually, the first time I meet is the first time I meet their husband. Right? Yes. And usually the question I ask is, yeah, how did you meet? Or why did you come to Singapore? Um, um, things like that. And I always give my students advice. We can plan for this 
mm. situation. Right? Yes. We can we can yes. kind of plan for they, these questions. Yeah. They will ask you. Yeah. yeah. If you come yeah. on Saturday, <laughs> I will ask you, how did you meet? So now, throughout or over the next few days, simply think about that answer in advance. Mm. Um, and that's, I always tell my students, you know, they always say, how do I improve my speaking? And I think we talked about this on one of the previous videos. Yes. Kind of memorize or at least prepare for questions that you might be asked. Yeah. So how old are your kids? Or where do your kids go to school? Mm -hmm. Or how did you meet your husband? Or why did you come to Singapore? These are very common questions that we can prepare for beforehand. Yes. We can memorize. Um, of course, we don't want to sound like a robot. Um, no, we don't. <laughs> Mark, how did you meet your girlfriend or now fiance? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, so I just give the give the natural English See? answer. See, that's or what I mean. He wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. So I have to. I have to practice. He wasn't ready. I need to practice. Yeah. Hi, Sophia. So, um, yeah, but if you if you plan right, I can think in my head. Okay, I want to say, I met her in Japan. I was working in Japan, right? Mm -hmm. We met. Yeah, uh, we yeah well, yeah. So I guess yeah, I'm not ready. So I need to make sure I have my story ready. He's trying to yeah. say it was love at first sight. Yes, first sight. <laughs> <laughs> maybe second or third, but still love. Or still love. Maybe not. Yeah. No, it still works. So yeah. there's that. And I think the other big thing we've also talked about, if you want to improve your speaking, right? Other than memorizing and practicing, make sure whenever the person responds that you are listening, right? Make sure that you are listening closely to what they say so that you can pick out some ideas you can also talk about in the future, right? Even, even native speakers, there's some some people are very bad listeners so it's hard for them to keep a conversation going you have to make sure after you ask your question don't worry about having perfect english just be open try to understand their answer and then do your best to share your ideas back with them right yeah. it's very back and forth with english it's got to so, be back and forth i think you yeah. were saying that in japan yeah. did you experience this or is this this, when, uh, when I was teaching in Japan, we had like a cultural seminar before we started teaching in the country. Mm -hmm. And at that cultural seminar, they talked about how Japanese people, when they are having a conversation, they will let the person speaking talk and talk and talk until the person talking shows that they are finished, right? I'm saying what I need to say, and then I'm going to show that I'm finished, and then Matt will speak, okay? And then Matt will speak and uh, tell me his story. And then he will show me either through a gesture or, or through a, a phrase that he says that he is finished. And then I'll, I will talk again. But in English, we tend to talk on top of each other. Right? Yeah. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the goal of an English conversation is to say less. Yeah. Right? I mean, you kind of want the other person to talk. Yes. I think that's the goal of a good conversationalist. Yeah, yeah. ask many questions, right? Make yeah. sure. And I think the advice many people give is get them to talk about themselves. Right? Everybody loves talking Everybody. about themselves. <laughs> right? So if I was meeting Matt for the first time, I would ask him about his family. I'd ask him about um, his first several years in Singapore. I'd ask him about his business. I'd ask him about... Uh, his sports team or Canada right if he mentions he's from Canada that opens up many many things we can talk about right yeah right now I can talk about Justin Trudeau right the leader of Canada I oh. can talk about cities in Canada I could right oh we, we wow. gotta be careful gotta be careful All actually right. very good I opened up a can of worms very good okay. can of worms so yeah let's do the, the don't talk about these are don't talk the, about the do's do talk about yeah, the do's talked about yes don't talk talk yeah so actually i know i know uh matt well now so it's okay for me to talk with him about this now but the first time i meet him it's dangerous very dangerous to talk about 
politics, right? We don't, right? Like an American, don't, 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 first line you say, do you like Donald Trump? That's not good, right? You don't want to bring up politics as the first thing you talk about. Yeah, um, you want to, definitely you want to avoid yeah. sensitive topics. Mm. You want to avoid sensitive topics. So, yeah. uh, politics. That's a big one. Anything else? The other big one, I think, especially for like Americans, uh, I'm sure Canadians, is salary. Ooh, we yeah. never talk about how much money we make. Just money? Yeah. I think money in general. Oh, money. Yeah, also money. Like, don't talk about how much money you have or don't have, right? It's a very sensitive topic for many, many people. Yeah. So. But in Singapore, for example, it's yeah. okay to ask, I mean, at least in my experience, mm. Mark, how much is your condo? Yeah. Oh, like your rent and all that? How much rent do you pay? Yeah. So that's, or... Uh, your kid's school how much you know how much is your kid's school and this is something that for me when I first came to Singapore yeah. was a huge culture shock yeah, that, that and, difference yeah money <laughs> money was not uh, was not something not something that we talk about yeah. so um, what else age oh age yeah yeah like well especially with women right men I guess men too but do you think 2018 mark yeah comment below if you think it's okay <laughs> men and women are the same men and women equality. by the way if you of you are watching right? comment if you have any questions or you just want to say how handsome mark and i are you can do that too yeah uh age, i mean i would say age is a no-no yeah but in korea no problem yeah hi my name is matt i'm 34 yeah. years old nice to meet you yeah because then I can... Oh, you have to, yeah. Well, you don't have to, but well, I think... I think you do, right? For Korea, it's how you how you speak to the person depends on your age. So if you're the same age or higher, I think, yeah, you have a certain way of speaking to them. If, they, if they're younger than you, there's a different set of, uh, set of grammar. <laughs> or what do you call it? Grammar? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, a different way to speak to people yeah. who are older. And that, that makes sense. Yeah. That, that makes sense. Yeah, so if Koreans, if, uh, if, right, say you're in the, remember we had the three groups at the beginning of the video. If someone from the Korean group asks, asks you your age, right, that's part of their culture as well. Yeah. Just, but Koreans, right, be careful. If you meet, meet Americans or Canadians, right, don't, don't immediately just be like, how old are you? <laughs> that's a bit of a no-no. It's a bit of a no-no. So no -no. Age, age is always a, a yeah. sensitive, sensitive thing. Yeah. To, to talk about so yeah. politics, age, salary, money. What else? Mm. Another big one. Uh, religion. Oh th yeah, that's. I think those are the the three, right? Money, politics, and religion are the three. I think I remember growing up, right? Even talking with other Americans, we don't want to mention that because it sometimes becomes um, uh, controversial, right? Yeah, don't, you know, don't talk about, uh, I mean, you can say I went to church on Sunday. That's fine. No, people, but, yeah. Uh, don't try to convert someone. Yeah. Have you right? heard of, have you heard of <laughs> Have you heard Jesus of Jesus Christ? <laughs> <laughs> have you tried religion? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, don't do that. No, that's, that's not a good thing. Yeah. That's not a good thing. Um, of course, there's a time and a place to do that. Um, but yeah. you know, not when you, not when you first meet somebody. So Mark and I, we've known each other for well, I mean, almost a year now, but um, mm. but we've known each other closely for a few months, and mm -hmm. now we could probably talk about that and, and yeah. get into more details about those things. Yeah. But not when you first meet somebody yeah. at the barbecue party you on want, 25th May yeah. at 5 p.m. at East Coast Park, Area G, number 61. Yeah. Use these topics, the safe topics. Yeah. Weather, time, food, drinks, mm -hmm. family, kids. Yeah. Pets, if you so, have them, yeah. Yeah. So s stay away from the taboo, the taboo subject. Something that people can get um, yeah. upset about. Yeah. yeah. Or make people upset. Yes. Yeah. 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 Your goal of a first first contact <laughs> when you first meet someone, the goal is to have a positive, very friendly conversation. Yeah. And then after that, right? If you right, if you uh, want, if you talk to them in the future. Right, you just continue that. Once you know each other, you can 
if you want, if you ever need to or want to, you can start going into the, the more, uh, we'd say not intimate, what I guess intimate personal, yeah, more, more personal, yeah, more personal topics. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. Idea. Okay, so I guess that's most. Yeah. That's I think that's enough to get to get you get you uh, through the barbecue. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Any, yeah, I think yeah. that's enough to get you through through the barbecue. So if you are watching now. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, you can click like, share, comment, but uh, ask us a question. We can't see you. We don't. Uh, yeah, I know that. Um, yeah, we have one on Instagram there. I don't oh know yeah, we got Sophia again or not? But uh, yeah, ask a question, or if you're watching this later, um, yeah, just just say hi and and send us a. You can send us a message if you're shy. Just send us a message personally. That's fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just don't be afraid to comment or say hi. I know now is probably a bad time. It's seven. I know people are picking up their kids, and right. It's five twelve or nine o'clock on my phone for some reason. Um, yes. So you're probably making dinner or or or. Or five a.m. in the U.S. You are sleeping. Or you're just a go-getter. Yeah, maybe morning. you're just working hard. So. Getting ready for a jog. You never know. Um, yeah, you never so. know. So, hi, Mom. <laughs> I don't know. That's it. <laughs> hi, Mark's mom. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, we should get up early. She's probably the only one yeah. that will make it to the end of the video anyway. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's it, I think. Anything else, Mark, that you no, want to add? That's it for me. We will we'll, we'll pr practice our small talk this weekend. We will. Yeah, we'll be at the barbecue, so we'll, we'll practice tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, oh, on Saturday. And, um, it's Thursday. Yeah, and we'll... Uh, We'll see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, which I'm sure it will go very well. Yeah, it'll yeah. be good. I'm pretty sure it'll go well. So, so thank you all for watching. Yep, and we'll have see good, you. Uh, yeah, have a good week. Week. Have a good week. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you on Thursday. Come back. Oh yeah, on next Thursday, week on Thursday. But hopefully, if you come to the barbecue, yeah. and everybody's invited. Oh yes, see you Saturday uh, we'll and see you Thursday. Saturday and Monday. And Whenever yeah. you, whenever you come, yeah. Oh yeah, next week I'm not here. So oh, it's gonna be Mark. Just my face, okay. And maybe someone else. That's if okay. We can convince them to come on. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. Find someone good. Okay. Cool. So we'll see how that goes. Yep. All right. Goodbye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. See ya. Until then. Oops. Stop. <laughs>